Hello my darlings, my name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. Air signs, I'm going to be doing your weekly soulmate reading for you from the 6th to the 13th of September. And I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for you this week. Um, I am going to be providing an extended version for you. So if the reading resonates, uh, then the extended version will provide you a lot more information and depth to the reading and messages from spirit. Um, if it does resonate, please, uh, I would be very grateful if you would also like, comment, share and subscribe. And if it doesn't resonate, it simply means that the reading uh, was not uh, for you. So, air signs. Um, and sometimes I'll be doing grouping together the, the signs by their elements like I'm doing this week and then other weeks I'll do you in each an individual sign. Um, it simply depends on on um, how spirit is guiding me, what personal readings I also have uh, happening at the same time. So this week we're doing the signs grouped together and you know uh, even if it's a si three signs grouped together uh, underneath the elemental if the message is there for you it'll be there for you. So let's have a look at signs. Let's see this is your perceived state of mind, where you are right now, how you're looking at things, um, where, you, where, where you are in your life. So thank you, Spirit, for air signs. Thank you. Well, Ace of Wands. So that's fantastic. Um, Ace of Wands, lovely. It's, it's, you are feeling inspired. You are feeling creative. Uh, you are very passionate about something. Um, you... <laughs> You've come through, thank you, Spirit. You've come through something to get to this place. Uh, you've been on a journey. Uh, I, I believe looking at the sort of island in the background there, you've, you've been um, in hermit mode. You've been on your own. You've, you felt like, um, what's that expression? You sort of, you are your own island. You've, you've, you've allowed yourself to sit in your emotions represented by the water around the island. But, it's, but you're now at a place where you know exactly what you want and thank you, you are manifesting. You're manifesting consciously also what you want and it's all from a very extraordinary place of peace and love. So uh, that's absolutely beautiful. What a lovely start to the reading. Um, so let's have a look at your challenge, my darling. This is kind of, you know, your challenge is kind of what is, thank you, I'm just moving uh, those papers because they were in the way. Eight of Swords. Okay, so this is a real contrast. So I think, you know, with uh, the Ace of Wands, you absolutely know what you want. Um, you're very, you're, 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 I'm getting you're wishing upon a star. That's very beautiful. Um, but it's about, this is your challenge, challenge here. This is about you uh, stepping out of that fear space, stepping out of that cycle that we all get ourselves in where fear overtakes everything you know fear is a liar it's it's not real it's things that we we are are believing are real before they've even happened and we do create our own reality so spirit is saying you know it's you at, see she's dressed here in purple that represents your crown chakra so you know you are always connected always connected to source to source energy that's your soul to god the universe even when you feel that you're in this space um, and with this, with this Eight of Swords, you can get yourself out of that space anytime you want to. You are the only one that's in control of you. You can choose at any given moment to feel happy, to feel sad, to feel angry, to feel resentful. That is your choice. And so Spirit is saying, this is your choice. If you, if you wish to remain in this, look at the two different energies here. This is what you want to happen. This is your dreams, your desires, this new fresh start. But this is your challenge to step out of this eight of swords uh, and this is your contrast and you know we're always given contrast to know what we do want in life and what we do, we know what we do want in life we have to experience what we don't want in life but when you're in this eight of swords space you are manifesting more of the same you're saying to spirit well i'm feeling like this and i'll have more of that please and spirit wants you to step forward to 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 come out of this space where you feel like there is no, um, thank you, you know what you want, but you don't know how to get there. And so what Spirit is saying to me is ask, ask your guides, ask God, say thank you for you showing me the answers. Thank you for you, me showing you how do I get out of here and up to that extraordinary castle. And it's almost the same, you know, funny enough as the little castle in the background there. So 
uh, wherever you've been, it's been a very emotional experience, but it's dry, but the, the, the emotions, this painful, painful space you've been in, there has been a lot of upset and tears, but they are disappearing now. Um, you, you, you're almost there. You're, it's those last remnants of being attached, of not letting go of the past, of letting go, letting God, of, of knowing what direction to go forward. Ask. Your angels are there to help you. Your guides are always showing you signs. Ask. Just say thank you for showing me. Thank you for showing me the way. Okay, so now let's look at what's behind you. This has kind of led to where you are in your current perceived state of mind. Wow, nine of shields, my darling, which is the nine of pentacles. So this is in your recent past, okay? The nine of pentacles, she is amazing. She's like the minor arcana of the empress. And the nine of shields is somebody who is very much single, wants to be single, is getting to know herself, you know, because we all can lose ourselves in relationships. And so this is somebody who is absolutely connected to their intuition, to their higher self. Uh, this is somebody who is manifesting consciously. So this is beautiful to see. And uh, you have come through something. And uh, the person that you're asking about at this time, they are here. They're not in this same energy space as you. They are reflecting, uh, they are deep in thought. That little pig there, do you see under the tree there? That's representing their, their thoughts about things that they've done and their part to play in, in terms of what's happened between you. Uh, you are very aware of them. Can you see that you're just sort of looking behind you? You're very aware that they're energetically around you. Um, but you have, and this is so well done, you have moved forward, you have let, you've, you've sort of, you've carried on on your journey, uh, although you're very aware that they are there. Um, and interestingly, you see, you're surrounded here by abundance because you are in that space of, um, um, what's the word, uh, uh, in that space of welcoming, thank you, of welcoming in this journey of, of this is where this this ace of this ace of uh, wands is of welcoming what has happened to you, understanding that it's happen happening for you, um, and I'm going to come back to this this challenge card for you as well in a second. They so you're surrounded by this abundance. They are still in this space of lack of abundance, but that's okay. Everybody is on their journey at their own time, and um, I believe you understand that. Um, People do move at different paces on their journey and you have to allow them to, to do it at exactly the right time for them. So, and, and just back to this Eight of Swords, you know, this this challenge also is it, it is that you, you know all of this, you know, you are dressed in this purple, this crown chakra, but sometimes you just get caught in that fear space. You don't know how this is going to progress. You're doing it. You're doing it beautifully without you even realizing. Spirit's saying, "Well done. You've been vulnerable. You've been open. You've been honest. You've been um, absolutely tuned in and tapped on to your soul, to your knowing, to your intuition, and it is creating all sorts of wonderful things for you, which is inspiring you. And you want this new beginning, but I, I just believe at times you, you just get trapped back in that, that place where you were before, and that's okay." That's okay. These journeys are never easy, and it sometimes is three steps forward and two steps back. But that's okay. So let's have a look. Um, thank you, Spirit. Uh, let's have a look at what's coming for you in your. Um, this is sort of the next few weeks, the next few months. What what's coming in for you? Okay, so you've got the Queen of Pentacles. So how lovely is this? You've got both the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. There is going to be a decision you're going to need to make in, in the near future. Um, and it's very interesting because it's involving, do you see the tree here? Um, it's involving whoever you're thinking about here, whoever this person is in the background. It's going to take you back into maybe their energetic space to make this decision. Um, there has been a symbolic ending 
And this is a um, reminder from spirit that whatever, and, and thank you, nine of pentacles and the pentacle here makes the 10 of pentacles, okay, which is abundant. So whatever this decision is that you're going to be um, making, make it from a place of grounding, make it from a place of knowing your self-worth. The hair here represents being a great catch as well. And it may be something that you're going to be making in the spring or it's something that that has happened uh, has already happened um, and you're now you're still making this decision but I believe it's something going forward um, and thank you spirit it is connected also to how you're perceiving things you've got the same cauldron here so whatever decision it is very much connected with your soulmate um, but spirit saying take your time like the tortoise and the hare enjoy the journey uh, know that it's all about the journey, not the outcome, and that the more you shift and change and evolve on this journey, the more spirit can bring in these beautiful surprises and delights and things that are meant for you at the vibration that you're at and it's when you're in that vortex. So, and do it from a place of the heart, which is represented by the green here as well, and the cloak is the grounding too. So that's lovely. So now let's have a look at your sort of um, your goals, your aspirations, uh, you know, where you are, uh, where, where you're wanting to go to. Thank you, Spirit. You've got the Two of Swords. So this for me represents your um, soulmate. Um, you want... This is somebody who's very much trapped um, in that decision-making process, in what to do. They, they block off their heart. It's a very cold, it's a very sad place to be in. Um, and I'm feeling this, I'm going to get some clarifiers on this in the extended, but I'm really feeling that this is your goal to, 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 to get this, your soulmate to open up, to talk, to, to have clarity, to have truth from them. And Spirit is saying to me with the cobblestones here, it's one little step at a time. One little step at a time when it's not the divine, when it's not the right space, not the right timing, then it's not the right timing. Allow God, the universe, to take care of the details for you. Allow God, the universe, to to, to do it in, in, there are so many different energies involved. Uh, I'm feeling, uh, you know, in, in all relationships, there are always other energies involved as well, but everything has to be at exactly the right time. I'm going to have a look at what's below you. This is sort of deep in your subconscious. This is your soul. This is things that you may or may not be aware of. This is sort of going into the, sort of the foundation of it all. So you've got the hermit. Thank you, spirit. So what I'm feeling now with this reading is... Um, this is your soul guiding you, thank you. This is your soul guiding you at this time to, to go within, okay? To look for any answers that you have within. We hold all those answers within. Um, it's about having that direct perception of how you see things. Um, and it's about uh, not necessarily listening to what other people's perceptions are because they see it from their lens of life. In terms of our emotional maturity, in terms of our uh, shifting and changing, all those answers we look for are within. You know, God talks to us through our feelings. Um, sitting quietly meditating, we get those receiving thoughts, those thoughts that those aha moments of clarity. Not a lot of people hang out there on that cliff edge. It can be a very lonely space, but you are being guided to do that. And, and you're being guided to, to um, take some time alone, take some time this is what's coming in for you, okay? A decision, but you, you need to spend time with the universe, with God, with yourself. It's about getting to know yourself. You are being guided by spirit and it is leading to this beautiful dawn. And do you see how clear those waters are? That's, it's, by going within, it brings you peace. Okay, Aries, so this is um, your uh, main part of the reading. Um, you are in a, um, you've had some beautiful cards here and you're very much in a space of, you have already gone through a lot of transformation. I'm going to say at the bottom of the deck, the overriding energy is justice. So whatever decision you are going to make, you want it to be fair, you want it to be balanced as well. Um, and it's also about, again, um, being in something that is balanced, being in something where there is 
um, a natural give and take. Um, and whoever you are, thank you. And I feel like um, wherever you were in the past, if it is with this soulmate, I feel like you were overlooked a lot of the time. Do you see the little mouse here? You may have felt that a lot of your um, lovely attention to detail and and protectiveness and um, gathering and looking after was not really appreciated. Um, but Spirit is saying whatever, uh, whatever decision you make as the Queen of Pentacles in the near future, it's going to be balanced, it's going to be fair, and it's going to go in your favour. And it's also bringing in uh, that abundance as well, do you see with that little wheat sheaf there too. And you are going to be able to speak your truth, which is beautiful. So, um, and this Eight of Swords as well could represent your soulmate as well in their place, but they don't want to know and listen at the moment. Um, because they are also, you know, the cards always have different meanings. They are also looking, um, they're looking at you there too. But I feel this is more you, my darling. I feel this is more you not knowing what way to move forward. Let God take care of it. Um, let God take care of it. And, and it's about you going within. So, um, Air Signs, I'm going to go into more uh, of um, depth into this reading. Um, I am fascinated to see what decision you will be making in the near future and where your soulmate is on their path. So if it does resonate with you, the extended version is available by clicking in the description. Uh, the link is in the description box below. Um, take care and have a, a lovely weekend and I look forward to catching up with you next week. Bye bye.